and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some gruel dinosaurs. This is actually going to be my first time playing a dinosaur deck here with M20. I haven't played Marauding Raptor at all, a card that I definitely liked during preview season. Um, I just haven't haven't played it yet, so you know had to fix that. So made, went ahead and made a gruel dinosaur deck here. Definitely a little different from other dinosaur decks that you've probably seen around. Um, but we're kind of playing, you know, cards that I've been that I like that I've been really impressed with. I really like Vivian Arcbow Ranger a ton. Uh, this is maybe my favorite card from M20. Probably is actually just my favorite card from M20. Just have absolutely loved this card. And so wanted to get this card in our dinosaur deck um, to you know help out like all these these bigger monsters, give them trample and everything like that. And in the Gruel deck, I was also just really impressed with Domri's Ambush. So so playing those as well. Um, I kind of want I want more Drover the Mighties, and I wouldn't mind a fourth commune and more Drovers, but I couldn't couldn't really find room for them with cutting all these other things. Like I could cut the Ranging Raptors for Drovers. But then I just don't really have anything on three besides Domri's, and I'm not sure if that's, you know, I'm not sure if, like, not having any three drops is too good. Um, I started, I honestly started with Gruel Spellbreaker when I was putting this together, but ended up cutting those for just a couple Ranging Raptors. I want to try the Ranging Raptor-Marauding Raptor combo of, you know, when you have Marauding Raptor, you can play Ranging Raptors and um, Rampant Growth. I want to try that combo. It may not be. It may not end up being that good, of course. So I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised if afterwards we're going to be cutting the ranging raptors. But I want to try them out. So we got a couple of those in, and I wanted to play a couple of reality smasher dinos, um, and so that kind of came at the expense of the fourth Regisaur alpha and another carnage tyrant or another ceratops, you know, to fit these things in. Um, but wanted to try those because it's just attacks very hard and for a lot of damage. I like it quite a bit. Uh, so that's that's kind of our deck. Um, going with the Land of War Elves. Some people here in chat have been saying that um, <laughs> Land of Worlds are not pointless if you don't have three drops. They're not necessarily pointless. They still let you, you know, like double spell with like a Raptor commune or just, just get to these things early. Um, uh, let's see, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so about Land of War Elves. Yeah, some... Uh, people in chat said they they haven't really liked Land of Werewolf with this kind of deck, but it's just such a such a strong turn one a play um, that I want to go ahead and, and try them out. Um, but it, an option is to just play four commune and then more drovers instead of these Land of Werewolves. Um, that's an option there. But I really like Land of Werewolves. Of course, whenever you already have a Marauding Raptor in play, then if you play a Land of Werewolf, then your uh, Land of Werewolf will die. So you probably don't want to do that. Um, Land of Wolf also helps us, it adds green to our mana pool, of course, so it helps us cast this Vivian, even though we have, you know, five red sources. Um, but we still have, we have 18 green, plus Domri, Drover, and Land of that all add green, plus the communes that can find green sources. So we, we have a lot of ways to get this Vivian in play. Um, but that's our deck. Here we got a couple more Ceratops and Carnage Tyrants in the sideboard for some more can't be countered cards we have a pretty good can't be counter package of course domri has our creatures not be able to be countered so pretty good can't be counter package there the veil of summers help also all right so first time playing the deck we're going to go ahead and head on over to the traditional constructed queue especially how i'm just kind of trying out some different cards in this 75 here <laughs> Reality Smasher is my favorite card. When it's standard, I refuse to play anything without four Thought Not Seers and four Smashers. Man, I, I definitely played the heck out of those two cards. Certainly liked those, those cards for sure. Oh man, this hand would be so good if one of those two forests was a red land. And we can go marauding into ranging that would rampant growth us. Wow, this would be like perfect. Hmm. This doesn't look so good. But I suppose we keep this. And I think I'm just going to ditch Galta.
yeah. No, we don't have any ways to shuffle. Yeah, we do. We have the, the Ranging Raptors. Yeah, so we have one way to shuffle the deck with the Ranging Raptors. There. Well, also Ancestral Knowledge, the the, the three-color Jun deck that people are playing right now that doesn't have Llanowar Elf, it also can't really because it is a three-color deck that's playing Unclaimed Territory. So you, with the mana base, you just can't really play it. <laughs> yep, one of Galta heading to the bottom. That's all right. So I, so let's, let's draw some kind of spells to be playing here before turn five, preferably. Preferably, my opponent playing magic would be nice. Perfect draw step. We'll take it. All right, now we'll wait another minute before our opponent does something. There we go. That one, I wasn't even mad that they lava coiled the, the dinosaur because I just wanted them to do something. Savage Stomp would certainly have been better here than Domri's Ambush. Savage Stomp would have been awesome right there. Because it would have just cost one mana, would have fought, so would it, we would have gotten the land, put it into play. Probably a pretty tough choice what to do right now. I guess I should have ambushed first, could have dealt another damage. So should we Registor Alpha or Charging Monstrosaur next turn?
So they just have tons and tons of spells over there. They didn't play a land last turn with all these Risen Reef triggers. You know, they've gotten they've drawn five extra cards with the Risen Reefs so far. So not having an extra land or not having a land drop. Wow, the Healer Glade is perfect. Yeah, that's a perfect card. Fortunately, we got that Galta down at the bottom. Our best card that we could possibly draw would be Galta. That was a wonderful turn for them, though. Yeah, of course, Land World doesn't do anything right now. Um, I mean, neither would Drover the Mighty if we if they were Drover the Mighties. And it'd be a three three, I suppose. Uh, stop having this he these healers. It's one mana, gain three life, draw two cards, and make a chump blocker. It's just pretty perfect. It's so likely our opponent is stabilized from here, but we'll see. Risen Reef's a powerful magic card. Yeah, we have we have the ability to just to draw to now, but don't think it will matter anymore. Doesn't look like. Yeah, no kidding. Need these rampaging ferocidons. Got keep them from gaining all this life. Need to play Galta before attacking. Which is unfortunate that they know about the Galta when they're making the block decision here, but if they would have killed the Monstrosaur, we just have you know got to play it first. They discarded two really good cards with the Druid and the Chandra. Druid, you know, being a three toughness blocker that triggers two Risen Reefs, and Chandra being a three mana draw four that could also coil. So their hand has to be just really loaded. So I'm not feeling like we're going to be winning this. Oh, 
I still got 22 cards right now. 21 cards now. They've just drawn 25 more cards than we have. <laughs> like that 29 more cards than we have. Make that 30. Just casually drawn 30 more cards than we have. Risen Reef is really slow. I certainly wish they would have just programmed Risen Reef a little bit better in here instead of like having to click OK to every single card that you draw, that you see and everything. We could go for the time. We're seven minutes ahead right now. Uh, if you put your if you put the the cursor over like the number of timeouts you can see the time see how they have 20 minutes and 50 seconds left we have 28 minutes i've only seen i've only seen one opponent go under 8 minutes one time once you once you get under 8 minutes there's like a warning and it like tells you it's like hey you have less than eight, you have 8 minutes and then and then the clock just shows up for good it, it's just always there because you get 30 minutes, and you know it doesn't count sideboarding time or anything. It's it's so much time, it it really isn't a factor. Yeah, the timers for all the all three games. So we'll see if they have like a a bane fire or something like that. They are down they're down to seven cards. They've drawn a casual 40 more cards than I have. My heart beats in unison with the wild. I guess we'll kill that thing. I aim and their claws, you're done. Alright, we got 17 trample coming in. I should just be attacking with the land world too, right? No, we can let it protect the Vivian, I suppose. Dude, Vivian's just awesome. Where are all these cards they discarded? Some Tamias, Cloud Conceers. Like if they're playing Finale, they're probably playing. They're probably playing something like the um, Endrace Forerunners in this deck. Like we're probably going to get killed by Endrace Forerunners. They could have a Jace. Yeah. Could be playing Jace. Oh, just a Field of the Dead. How about that? Alright, that's gotta be a Jace if they're willing to do this. Either that or again, End Race Forerunners. Like, we, we have to be dead this turn. Does Endrace give all their creatures haste? They have two cards left. Endrace is one of the last two. Oh, it's or Graveyard. All right, they're just grabbing the Omnath from the graveyard. Oh, and then all their creatures get plus 10, plus 10. 
and gain haste. Right. That card does that. So never mind, they don't even need the end rays. The finale does that. had a fog. They had zero cards in library. Just had a fog. So Endraze only gives Vigilance and Trample, doesn't give haste. Yeah, Green Finale does give haste and Plus a bunch. It's going good today, Elder Two. Going good. Hmm. Well, our hand was not very good. That last game. We almost got there. I kind of want to play Flame Sweeps. I don't know what to take out for Flame Sweeps. Am I supposed to take out these land worlds? some Carnage Tyrants. I'll take out a Reggie and a, and a Carnage Tyrant. Yeah. Exact lethal. Our opponent got, ex opponent got exact lethal there. Thanks for the clip there, Jackal. If you're in the Discord channel, put that, you know, if anybody's in the, anybody who's in the Discord channel, link that to the highlights section of the Discord channel. Thanks there, Jackal. All right, so we got our, our combo to try out with Marauding Raptor and Ranging Raptor. Got the raptors. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of just want to play this. We'll give them a turn with the Leafkin Druid. And then we about to start killing stuff. Legal attacks, try again.
Okay. All right, and I'm going to lower it again a little bit by trying a Ceratops instead of the Carnage Tyrant. <laughs> hey, hey, Guy and Shades. Glad you enjoyed the, you're enjoying the Gruel Midrange deck. And yeah, you got Domri in play against the Simic Flash deck. You're like, no, can't, can't counter anything anymore. Very nice. Glad to hear it. No, so close. We have the combo again. We just need one more land, though. You know, we need a red source. All right, we can try this. So I'm definitely keeping Raptor, definitely keeping Flame Sweep. I guess it's Ambush that's gone then. It's either Ambush or Reggie. I'd rather get rid of Reggie. I guess we get rid of Ambush. I really want, like, I want Ambush. Hey. Look at that good card. Turn one Land off turn two Raptor means we get to play Registrar Alpha on turn three. All right, well, wish, wish we would have got rid of the Flame Sweep instead of the Ambush. <laughs> Ramptor. Yeah, Ramptor is pretty sweet. I agree. Hey, what's up, Cap? Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. Sub number five on the day. Boom. Yeah, this would be looking a lot better as Domri's Ambush, so I put the wrong card back. Right, I meant to do that next turn. I forgot, <laughs> dang, I forgot about the Rotting Raptor with that. Uh, well, just threw away a Land War Elf. It wasn't doing anything anyway. It's all good. <laughs> Thanks, Storm. Yep, played that perfectly. Just pay, pay a green mana, discard a card. Standard playable. <laughs> All right, Drover is not. Not a dinosaur, doesn't get haste. Go 
Can we finish him off? Yay! Dinos! That's not a dino. <laughs> Pay one green mana, take a card in hand, and just light it on fire. That's what we do with that land war elf. <laughs> Dinos are bigger than elementals. That's how it should be. Dinos should beat up on elementals. I don't think little elementals would beat dinosaurs in a fight. Marauding Raptor would be a really nice one to see here. Off a of commune. No, we'll just take the land. All right, I guess elementals do. How they have limitless potential? Okay, that's that's fair enough. You got me there. We had two Ripjaw Raptors and a bunch of lands at the bottom. Every story is an opportunity for new data. Hmm. I know we are I pretty dead to Nexus, something. though, here. Yeah, uh, you can replace Carnage Tyrant with. If you have like a second Galta, that could be a good cyborg card to have to be able to grab with Vivian. Um, you could play another Ceratops. The land fights for us. Basically, play any any expensive rare mythic, you're good to go. My patience, harness the elements. I think you will find my notes helpful. Not looking good. To the library. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Tamio has a lot of loyalty. Ride 
Praise my elemental friend. Man, if we had Star of Extinction... Hmm, or just a, a three damage to all creatures spell and making every single land a creature. That'd be so nice. Behold, nature's true power. Hey, 619. Let me aid your research. All right, then they ultimate Nissa the next turn, make their lands indestructible. All right, I'm dead. This doesn't even kill Tamiyo. You need to do three damage. You need to do six damage. I guess we need to kill all of the mana creatures. Hmm. Alright, I guess we could try not playing with no land war elf. I'm just having extra removal instead. Early on for turns one and two with shocks and coils. I mean, the two Marauding Raptors would just kill the Registore Alpha and the other Dino. The Dino token it makes. Right away. So just trading Domri for Land War Elf. I still have my paper card co collection right now, I've had. Yeah. I'm planning on selling it eventually, just haven't gotten to that point yet. Hmm. This is really bad.
Mommy! Thanks for the cheers. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Do they now have counter magic also? That'd be a bummer. Okay, just Aether Gust, so we'll get our Vivian back. Gonna kill my Vivian. Really unfortunate. From the smallest ant to the largest hydra, nature is beautiful. I'd get out of the way if I were you. At least the rope jaws out of here. I will not go extinct. My dinosaurs aren't big enough. Just can't get through them. deck did not look too good there we had i mean we had a really good hand there that game too and got annihilated their sideboard plan was very good against mine against my deck yeah i don't <laughs> i don't know if we'll like win that matchup very much at all that seemed like a horrible matchup for us like the game one is pretty bad with us not having Interaction and then games two and three, two and three, they have an awesome sideboard against me. All right, new match. Prison Reef is standard these days. It's our third straight Lanor Elf, Leafkin, Druid, Risen Reef deck. This time it's Bant. First time was Teamer, second time second time was just straight up blue green. Now this time we got Bant. But they're all the same cards. The land shall 
Hmm. I've never really gotten into the Mission Impossible movies. They've always been like ones that I've like wanted to see, but I've just never never seen them. They're always like movies that I thought I would enjoy. But I never got into them. Are they on Netflix? Yeah, I, of course I have Netflix so I could fire them up. Mission Impossible 7 is out in two years. There's more of them than I thought. I thought there was like four, maybe five. I guess there's six now and a seventh coming out. I would have I would have guessed probably four if you would have said how many Mission Impossibles are there. I did attack Nissa with the dino. I did. I attacked both my dinosaurs at Nissa. We, we can't get through a 5-6 to play Cavalier Thorns, also. I guess I gotta keep these things in, because these things get, th get through 5-6 and don't get stolen. So I suppose we're actually gonna want to play all of those. Maybe not Registrar Alpha. A 4-4 four, four and a 3-3. Three, three. Those don't seem very strong. Can't get past Riptile Raptor, for example. Maybe we just go Ceratops, Carnage Tyrant. No Reggie. No Ranging rap Raptors. Ranging Raptors doesn't get through the O3. Which is kind of rough. I guess we could just cut the elves. For Selesnia Titans, I don't think that the Cavaliers, like, ca the Cavaliers would be, like, the big question. Like, are the Cavaliers going to be better than, um, all right, we need red mana. All right, put four other spells at the bottom, so hopefully we'll draw some lands. Put a whole bunch of dinos at the bottom. So yeah, like maybe the Cavaliers there, maybe Nightpack Ambusher, since you're playing an Arcbow deck.
Those would be options. And then obviously sideboard, you know, Velo Summer, obviously, you know, like just getting like your sideboard cards. So I wanted to get rid of their ramp card, you know, like their mana creature. Arcbow would not have done it, like with the minus three, because the Marauding Raptor was just a two three. I'm hoping that Arcbow growing the Carnage Tyrant can kill can finish them off. That's the hope. I protect that which cannot protect itself. The land shall so They have nine toughness right now. That's not going to be good enough. That's like not even good enough like on, on the battlefield. Like this is just lethal here, isn't it? Like I don't even have to do anything. This is just lethal. What are they? Right? Because they block here. They did not count. I'm just too worried about ramping, I suppose. Alright, game number three, likely we'll get run over, but we'll see. Yeah, a lot of the cards are, are rotating out in the fall, yeah. And our, our deck hasn't felt super powerful, either. But I definitely wanted to play a dinosaur deck with the Marauding Raptor. Unfortunately, our, our cards just don't line up real well against, you know, like the two mana O3. Basically, Nissa just making a bunch of three toughness things when we have Flame Sweep that deals two damage. Um, that, and then, you know, Cavalier Thorns being a 5 6 is a problem. A lot of small problems in the deck. And then, of course, Krasis just being super big. Also a problem. It's only possible I need to have more Galtas, to be honest. Yeah, that's something I've needed. More Galta.
<laughs> yeah. Against small, yeah, against small Grixis deck with only removal for small things. <laughs> this deck looked a lot better there. Yeah, probably going to go Ripjaw next turn. Probably Ripjaw into Galta. I guess, I guess we wouldn't really be able to play. It sure took a long time. Like, I wonder if they have Entrancing Melody in hand. Moses has a hawk with the sub. Welcome to the channel, Moses. Thank you so much. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess we couldn't play we couldn't actually play Galta here this turn. Even playing the Ceratops, it's just a five man a six seven. These things are too big. That's not bad. So I can sacrifice one of my creatures to kill Nissa. It's probably worth it. Well, I guess if they block with Leaf Kindred also. I guess I'm trading one of my creatures for Leaf Kindred and a bunch of damage on Nissa. If Deckmaster is glitching, just re refresh your stream it's usually the answer cease this aggression Yeah, we're certainly hoping it's manipulation and not crisis. Nature's true power. Boom. And then, yeah, they're taking... I guess it's not really lethal, but... Four, six... Let's see, would it have been? We would have, we would have been, like with that draw, we would have been able to play two creatures. So we would have done six, ten. Yeah, it wasn't going to be lethal. Galta is awesome. Yeah, definitely need more Galta. Galta, Galta great. Hey, what's up, Bert? Two years. You are a rock star. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think Ripjaw Raptor. It's either Raptor or Domri. Ripjaw. If we draw the land, we could get to go Domri, Land War Elf, and Vivian just putting counters on Land War Elf is good. If we don't draw the land, we do this. Hey, did, oh, did we just play against you, Marine Marauder? Redland. Darn. Our opponent should probably be taking that trade. Oh, that's not a good trade for me. I don't think they'd be taking it, though. Ah, gotcha. GG's, Marine. Uh, Ivad, I was just want to say thank you. You're a great guy and everything. Well, thank you so much, Ivad. <laughs> I'm it's glad. Oh, okay. Oh, they're so cute. I'm glad to have you here, and I and it means a lot. Thank you so much. All right, so Domri down, but we do get to draw a card, and they don't have much defense against we their Chandra. So it looks like we'll probably just be able to take out this Chandra. Just can't get land. All right, so we want to, yeah, we're gonna Marauding Raptor, Ranging Raptor. I am not happy right now. Go put a land into play. All right, looking good for us. Ooh. I guess it was looking good for us. All right, so Risen Reef deck number four. Man, we're just playing against tons and tons of Risen Reef decks these days. Remember that was the same kind of thing last, uh, I guess it was two nights ago, whenever we were streaming, like towards the end of the night. One of our leagues was just all Risen Reef decks. Um... I'm going to bring in Flame Sweep and therefore take out Lana War Elf. And also bring in some coils. No, I'm not expecting. Like, Secure Tribe Elder, I definitely don't think will be reprinted in standard, but I'm not expecting rampant growth, but I could see rampant growth at some point. I'm not expecting it.
I don't know what the best answer to elemental decks is. I'm I'm interested to try out like the Orzhov mid range deck that we're playing next. I'm playing four Honor Guard main deck, and that's what we're kind of doing with that deck is is seeing if four Honor Guard. See if that's going to be pretty good against these elemental decks. So I'm pretty excited to play the Orzhov deck that we're going to have up next. <laughs> you resolved to follow the three and against one and they left. Nice. And so they're using their Risen Reef to ramp really hard and put all these lands into play and then you're just like, boom, destroy all lands. There you go, I like it. Yeah, that was our only Galta, but we do have Ranging Raptor that could shuffle it back. Yeah, Corpse Knight could maybe be a thing with Afterlife. That could maybe be a thing. We're only losing two damage there since we get to attack with the 3 3 Drover. But then next turn we get to attack for a whole lot more. Yeah, put cards in the hand. No lands. Cards in hand. Darn. The old mold of five and smash. Darn. So if, if they kill the Drover of the Mighty, then we will need to draw land to be able to play Carnage Tyrant, but I think it's definitely worth it to be attacking with the Drover. That block's not going to work. They are dead. Why'd they block like that? Negative four is not alive. Not a good block. All right, we're three and one. <laughs> Negative four is not alive. <laughs> hey, Dusty. Thanks for the resub. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate that, Dusty. Storm, there is a quote command. You do exclamation point, add quote, and then you type in the quote.
<laughs> uh, let's commune with the dinos. Uh, give me the ceratops. Nice, Lutank Clan. Uh, to be honest, I haven't I haven't taken a look at that specific red deck, um, that mono red deck. But um, yeah, mono red is just the kind of deck that's just it's just very um, it's very consistent. Usually, other people's best hands beat mono red. Well, let's do this. And kill the wild growth walker. Eh, duels are for push nods. Let's just fight. Wild beasts are bringing your comeuppance. But you know, like they have to have like those kind of hands two out of three games, and Mono Red does a really good job of winning game one, also, just in general. No, you haven't seen the last of me. Yes, I would like another land. Thank you. Um. Um, I don't know exactly what like the the tier one decks are. I've never been one that subscribes to the tier one decks theory, just in general. Not one that uh, really cares too much about labeling decks in tiers. There are there are different different times like where there are really popular decks that you want to have a good plan for and be thinking about, um, but I'm not one that likes to label decks in tiers. Because everything in Magic is is just kind of subjective. It's not like a tier one deck beats a tier three deck. You know, a, the tier three deck may be a really good matchup against the tier one deck kind of thing. Um, as far as like tiers that other people would put decks, and so it's not like it's not like decks are in a hierarchy. In my opinion, so that's not just a, that's just not a way I, that I like to think about metagames. Hmm. What do we want to do here? So, Wild Growth Walker can get can get out of Lava Coil range quickly, but I think I still want him, and I'm gonna get rid of the Ceratops. I mean, I could be playing Veil of Summer, but we didn't really see very much of their deck. Get rid of a Reggie also. I want to cut one elf on the draw. Yeah, Veil can be Veil can certainly be good against different things, you know, like we saw like Assassin's Trophy and stuff. But I'm not sure if I you know I'm not I'm not convinced that I need to play it right now. As you can see, I didn't put it in the deck, but it can certainly be good against black removal spells. Hey, Arthur. This is a cool favorite deck for you. I like it. Oh, Testawad, I'm sorry. Yeah. These... Yeah, vampires and dinosaurs are, do have a lot of cards that are rotating out. So yeah, being a free-to-play player using a bunch of wild cards on them is pretty rough. <laughs> there you go. Dinosaurs bringing memories from your childhood. My my brother was the one that was pretty big into dinosaurs in our in our family. We'd go to like different dinosaur museums and stuff whenever I was a kid. Yeah, whenever historic 
comes out that format, whenever Historic is introduced in the fall, you'll still be able to use the cards that rotate out of standard. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive you. Watch Jump. out. They bite. All right, we're four and one. Vivian is awesome. Hey, our random card reward was 20 gems. Awesome. All right, four and one. That means we are on to the final boss. Let's get this final boss playlist out. Here we go. Hey, welcome back, Balding Yeti. Oh, it says, that was sub number 10 today? Oh, I was behind one. Half a year. You are awesome. Thank you so much, Balding Yeti. All right, so that's our first sub goal of the day. Time for us to get a pack after this, and I'll mark that down in the info panel towards our next 12-hour stream. That's going to be sub goal number four. So we're four out of 20 towards our next, next time I do a 12-hour stream. Four out of 20 sub goals. All right, what do we got? Um, all right, so our commune with dinosaurs is going to hit marauding raptors. We're going to hit the red dino. No, I will I'll never do a 24 hour stream. I can't I can't do 24 hour streams. I, that's just not something that I'm going to that I'm willing to put my body through. Marauding Raptor. Nailed it. So we got turn 2 Marauding Raptor, turn 3 Ripjaw. Perfect. Hey, nothing but zero. No, today's just a normal stream, three to ten, three to ten Eastern, normal stream day. This one went as well as it possibly could whenever I kept the hand. This is, like, we've drawn basically perfectly, and also our opponent only having the one land. Like, this just went really as good as it possibly could. All right, so normally I'd want to just play the other Ripjaw Raptor here, but then they would be able to flip the landing. So I'm just going to kill a couple of these things. Make it so they can't flip landing. That should be able to just finish up the game for us. There we go. Awesome, Balding Yeti. Balding Yeti, you should you should send me the band Arcbow seventy five that you're playing. Like send it to me on like Discord. So I can see what you're doing, what you're having success with, and Everything, because yeah, I should play Ban Arcbow again soon. All right, we'll get some sweepers in, some coils, some shocks. Uh, I don't really want the ceratops. Hmm. I think I want to cut a Domri's ambush or or just a regular Domri. Let's cut a regular Domri. Yeah, 
Yes, Reckless Rage and Reptile Raptor works very well. Yep. You get to draw a card because you, you're dealing two damage to the Reptile Raptor. So yeah, Reckless Rage was like was made for Reptile Raptor. Yeah, Visionic. We got a sweet one here. Don't love this hand. But I could see it winning. Alright, good start. Oh, you have a spicy one, Visionic. I gotcha. Well, congratulations. Lots of stuff. Be really nice to draw a flame sweep. Ah, uh, that didn't work. Hmm. We could double ambush though. Which I like that. Let's get rid of this thing. No flipping legions landing for you. Let's get rid of that thing. Yeah, this, this sleeve art is in the store for gems. You'd purchase this sleeve art uh, for gems. I guess this one would be in the in the guild pact, in the gruel. This is the gruel sleeve, gruel guild, gruel guild sleeve one. Most, most all of them are in the store. Like, that's just where you can find all the sleeves. They just said oops. What does oops mean? Hopefully no removal. Such cool animation. Gonna go Domri to kill it over Vivian because Domri lets us draw a card. Stampede coming straight at ya. All right, GG's. Our 6 5 drover over here. And we defeated the final boss. Domri and Vivian were really good for us. I'd have to say, Domri and Vivian were very, very good for us. Yeah, our yeah, I yeah. Right after I said that our our dinosaur deck didn't look so strong, we just like rolled through all of the rest of the games in the league. You know, like the next like three matches and and the rest of that match. Um, about our deck, Lana Werewolf was was honestly pretty good for us a lot of times, even though I was kind of sideboarding it out some. That Drover of the Mighty was awesome. Ugh, we just had that one Drover just to get him. And that one Drover, multiple games we'd had like turn two Drover, turn three Ripjaw and stuff like that. 
and that one that one drover being key. Um, yeah, our, our loss was to the Simic Nexus. Yep. That's what we lost to was Nexus, which that happens. Uh, Ceratops wasn't really that great. Um, Regisaur Alpha was honestly not very impressive. Like, honestly, just the 4-4 and the 3-3 comparatively to, like, charging Monstrosaur. Like, Monstrosaur actually kind of felt better because, uh, you know, like, our opponents were playing, like, 4-5s and other, like, kind of kind of big creatures where, like, the Regisaur Alpha size-wise wasn't so um, wasn't so great. I could see moving away from, like, the Alpha and the Ceratops, maybe moving more towards Monstrosaurs and another Galta. Galta was awesome. I think we could probably use a second Galta, or at least a second Galta in the sideboard instead of one of these Carnage Tyrants. Um, Ranging Raptors was okay. It wasn't spec... It wasn't... It wasn't bad. There were definitely games, like, where it played pretty well. It did work really well with Marauding Raptor, and it also worked well with Domri. Uh, both of these things dealing damage to the Ranging Raptor. It wasn't... It wasn't bad. Um... It may not have been as good as just playing more drovers would have been. But it wasn't bad. Um, yeah, Registrar Alpha giving haste to Galta definitely makes Galta better. That's for sure. We didn't get any of those games this time. We didn't get any, like, Carnage Tyrant Galta haste games this time. But, yeah, Domri and Vivian were awesome. The ambush was really, really good. Yeah, like this card, like our removal spells. I mean, they're removal spells, but yeah, like our removal spells of Ambush, uh, Anarchobolus, and Arcbow Ranger were all very clutch. Commune played pretty well. Yeah, I was definitely happy with Commune. But there we go. All right, so that's Gruel Dinosaurs. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching Gruel Dinosaurs here, and I will see you for another video.